Welcome to Mapperton, our family home and estate in Dorset in the southwest of England. Julie and I took over running Mapperton a few years ago from my parents, the Earl and Countess of Sandwich. It's a lot of work, but also a lot of fun. This place is full of fascinating stories, extraordinary people, and endless repairs. So please join our family on this journey of a lifetime as we put all our efforts into preserving this magnificent part of England's heritage. So I literally just posted on my stories up above. I'm like, yeah, and I'm going to be swimming in the pool tomorrow. And then Stephen was like, I don't think you are. I think it's empty. I have, I have been at Mapperton for almost 20 years. I have never seen the pool empty. And so clearly I'm not swimming. So Steve, I'm going to come down and you're going to tell me what is happening because I have no idea. Yeah, right? So do I just, do I can come on in. Yeah, yeah. I'm used to, okay, so I go backwards, right? Yep, it's like, you just turn on turn. yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm down at the bottom. This has literally made my whole 20 years of uh, being at Mapperton right now. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, so Steve, many of you guys know, is our head gardener, and you're also going to get to know him a lot more because he will be doing a lot of the garden tours with my mother-in-law. He is the real expert here as far as... Uh, Matt Britton, the gardens go. And by the way, his Instagram is outstanding. So do check out Thank his you. Instagram. <laughs> um, but Steve, tell me what is happening? Well, every year in theory, uh, we empty this and clean it. Um, but of course, last year it didn't get done. Right. Uh, because obviously of the pandemic uh, and things like that. So it's where we've had two years worth of mud in here. And I've been swimming in that mud. You have been <laughs> swimming in the mud, yes. <laughs> Well, also, you know, it's full of uh, it's full of newts. It's full of frogs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I swim with them. Yeah, yeah. There's actually a newt heading towards uh, heading towards us now. Actually, oh, there is. Which, yes, which is fun. So, okay, yeah. we'll get that on camera so everybody can see what I swim with. <laughs> right. So yeah. So every year we uh, we drain uh, we drain it. We get rid of all the mud. We pressure wash the sides, and it stays clean for. A week or so. Right. And then it starts to fill up with wildlife and, and mud again. And mud again. Yeah, oh yeah. my goodness. Okay, so I have a I have a couple questions here. Number one, how long did it take it to drain? Well, <laughs> I yeah. had a, I had a grand plan for this because we're closed on a Friday, and so I wanted to clean this out on a Friday. And of course, today it's Thursday. Yeah. So I pulled out the plug yesterday afternoon because I thought it would take quite a long time long time to drain. It didn't. Uh, it drains in about three hours. Wow. Well, yeah. where's the plug? What plug? Oh, there's a plug at the other end. Okay, can we go see yeah, that? Yeah, oh my goodness. <laughs> so you literally pull the plug? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> so, uh, and where does the water go? Well, I'm gonna interestingly, care. it goes, it, it actually goes under the other pool and out into the stream beyond. Under the other, yeah. so the reflect, what do we call that other pool? Just uh, so I get it technically uh, the right? The lily pool. The lily pool. Yes. Goes under there, yep. and then it goes into the stream. Yes. I yes. see. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Uh, so literally. Okay. Uh, the plug at the top is the first one we, uh, we pull, this one. Right. Um, and that's attached to a really long uh, pole. Yeah. Uh, and so we fish out the pole, turn the, the sort of tap, pull it out, and uh, it all drains and that's it. Through, through, through there. Simple. And it drains through there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is what I was touch. I mean, sometimes oh, yeah. when the water levels would get really low, I would be able to touch the bottom. But you can see yeah. it's quite a deep pool. It is a deep pool. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So can you remind everybody who, because it was Victor who built this. No. No, was it, no, was it well, Ethel? Well, we, uh, no, no, it wasn't. We, uh, we know that the pools were here prior to 1860. <gasps> Oh, okay. I'm so, don't even listen to me. Don't even listen to me. So the pools were here prior to 1860. Yeah, so the only historic map we have uh, is from 1860 of the gardens and the pools were there then. And the pools um, were there then. I think uh, that probably Mrs. Labouchere La La in the 20s restored the pools and probably 
uh, for, uh, formalized in a bit. Right, okay. And, and she was the one who added the, to the, the topiary as well. Right. So you guys will be getting a lot more about the, obviously, the Mapperton Gardens um, and, and the history behind it. But it really was Mrs. Labouchet who designed, if you like, is that right? The Italian yeah. Gardens? Absolutely. Yes. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, see, so I'm still learning. And then, so these pools were prior to that. They Interesting. Were. Were. And, uh, and also, uh, in the 1860s map, there was an orchard on the bank over, uh, uh, sort of on that side, and then vegetable plots <gasps> on this side. No. Which is really strange, because obviously, uh, there was a garden up in the, for the, the formal garden prior to Mrs. Labouchet. Uh, there was a rose garden at some point, but there were other things before. Okay. So you would have looked down from there into basically a productive space. Right. With formal pools, which is quite odd. It, well, I agree. It is quite <laughs> odd. I mean, it's much better as it is right now, thanks to Steve and, um, and his team and all the hard work you do. Okay, so next step, next step is, my next question is, so what happens next? Because we've got mud here and everything. We've got mud, yeah. <laughs> so, well, we've got a lot less mud than we had, actually. This, mo the, this morning we had about four inches of mud <gasps> through the whole thing. Right. So, so what have you been doing? Like scrape? Sort of scoop the mud down to this end and the water kind of carries it away. And what is this thing? So it's a scraper like... that they use uh, to um, scrape out cow dung. Oh, and okay. To really good... Okay, you, you've got nets here. You've got everything yeah, set up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've got just about everything to, to, uh, to do with. this. Oh my <laughs> goodness. Okay, so this is going to, once this all goes away, then yes. what's the next step? So the next step is I'll pressure wash all the sides and get rid of all this algae and muck. Right. Oh, that's great. The base as well. <gasps> so then it will be very clean. Very for clean for a while. Yeah. And then all of a sudden more like frogs and yeah, yeah, yeah. toads yeah, newts and will newts yes. will come back. There's actually a lot of newts hiding in that pond weed over there. And I'm leaving them, um, them in there until I'm ready to move them because I don't want them to get hot. Okay. Oh. That's very kind of you. Nestor, <laughs> Nestor would appreciate that. Okay, last question. Yep. Last question as we walk back. <gasps> so exciting. Is how long will it take to fill up and how do you fill it up? Well, that's a very good question because um, it fills in from a spring and, and it's been very dry here for a couple of weeks. Right. So our, our flow into here is quite slow. Right. So it might take quite some time. Okay, but... Certainly days. Is it that thing that that's fills it? <laughs> <laughs> that's it, I'm afraid. <laughs> okay, so that's going to take like uh, a week. Maybe. Yeah. Right? It's interesting. See, so it's, it's, a lot, oh, it's a lot slower to fill than it, than it was to drain. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is fascinating. How is it, Steve, that I have been here? And I'm asking, this is like a rhetorical question because Steve will not be able to answer this, nor will I. But isn't it, I've been here for almost 20 years. Yeah. I didn't even know this happened. I've never seen, I mean, granted, I've only started swimming in this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, since the pandemic, yeah. right prior to just the port before the pandemic. This, by the way, as many of you know, like going to swim in this pool throughout the pandemic is something that has definitely helped keep me sane. Um, and energized throughout. So I have this real attachment mm, to this pool. Yeah, so I yeah, think it's, yeah. I think I'm answering my own question. The reason I didn't <laughs> know about this is because I wasn't involved. I had no attachment to this pool, but now I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So thank you. You're welcome. Um, can, next year, Steve, <laughs> yeah. can I, next year what I want to do, now that I know this happens. You've got to pull the plug. Yeah, I want to pull the plug and Definitely. I want to help you clean it. Lovely, yeah. So I really do yeah, want yeah, to, yeah. next year, I'm not going to be in this dress. <laughs> Probably not. No, or these shoes, and I'm going to pull the plug and I'm going to clean this with you. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, you have, I mean, Mar I'm, listen, yeah, I'm yeah, a, yeah. a word, a, a girl of uh, good on her word. So, yeah. um, oh my gosh, thank you. This is literally everybody made <laughs> my week. Okay, we are here and it's been transformed since I was here yesterday with Steve. So as you guys know, Steve has given you all of the historical information, which was very new to me. And I'm with Landa here today and you are power washing. Is that right? Pressure washing, yeah. Pressure, pressure washing. <laughs> pressure washing. Okay, so I can already see you're almost done. Is that right? You've taken off all of the 
algae. Mm -hmm. I, I would, you say algae. Yep. I actually do say algae, but I figured if I'm in the presence of an Englishman, I better say algae. algae the right way. So what have you been, you've been power washing all along. Is that right? Uh-huh. Yep. And it looks great. It's a lot cleaner. Yeah. It's a lot, it's a lot cleaner. Yeah. And how long has this taken you so far? Um, about five hours so far. Five hours and I can see kind of what you've got left it looks like you've got less than much less than a quarter left is yeah. that right yeah it's in the end in the, okay so my question to you is well we were having this discussion beforehand we've realized this is much longer than an Olympic sized pool uh -huh. right uh -huh. <laughs> we've agreed on that um, much longer than an Olympic sized pool do we know how much longer <laughs> So I, to me, being the American, even when I hear meters, I'm like, I can't quite compute that yet. But I think that's got to be, there's like three feet to a meter. So yeah, like three. three foot three. So it's definitely over 120 feet, probably 130 feet. Steven's saying 130 feet. Anyway, it's big. Yeah. All right. So what I want to ask is, can I not power wash? Can I pressure wash? Yeah. Can I have a little go? Yeah. Okay. Is it scary? Is it going to get me wet? It might. Okay. Right. Okay. Do All it right. right. Okay. I'm gonna, and can I borrow your? Yep. Is that okay? Yeah. All right. Okay. So well, you're gonna show me how to do it, Landa, yeah. because I'm clueless. <laughs> okay. What's this thing doing? That's the reservoir. Oh, the, that's from the. the oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so if, do I just point and fire? Am I uh, pointing and fire? Come at an angle. Come at come an, angle, an angle, or it'll come straight back at you. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so, so if it, if I don't go at an angle, okay. So do you want to show me? Quickly, do, uh -huh. you to, do you want to put your ear guards on first? I think I'm going to go quickly. Just okay, go okay, you'll do it quick. Okay. Okay, Landa's going to show me how to do this. Okay. 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 And do I okay. It? No, no, it's, it's no. all tied up. Okay. Like literally how long did I do that for three minutes and I'm exhausted <laughs> okay I am exhausted and that was three minutes uh -huh. you've been out here for five hours and a cup of tea and a cup of tea <laughs> and a cup of tea okay I need a cup of tea after three minutes um this is that is that's a lot of work yeah wow well okay so you okay well I hope you're what are you gonna have after you finish are you gonna have like a beer Probably. Or, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because you can't just have a cup of tea after you no, finish no, this. No, you no. need it's to have. It's more than tea. Yeah. No. Do you think you're gonna have? I mean, you could bring your beer in the middle of nice. the pool. Nice. Steve could come down. <laughs> I could come, and we could all cheers this. Should we do that? What time? What time do we think this is gonna? Mm -hmm. oh, I don't know. About, what do you think? But, yeah. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I finished teaching yoga at three. So should I bring down some drinks? Yeah. At like four, uh -huh. yeah? Mm -hmm. That's okay, it's Friday. Yeah. You're, you're allowed, right? <laughs> okay, so should I, what do you guys want? Do you want, do you want, do you want the Montague Cuvee? <laughs> yeah, should we whip open a little bit of bottle and have a little, or do you want beers? Beer? Okay, we'll do beer, I'll bring, or cider. Yeah, cider, yeah. So, okay, I was it's thinking you might working be. Working man's drink. A working man's drink, cider yeah. for you, Steve. Beer, and yeah. I'll do a beer too, okay. So we're gonna celebrate this because this is, <laughs> wow, quite the feat, absolutely. All right, thanks, Linda, I'll, I'll give these back to you. Um, and we'll be back at four o'clock. Um, all right, this is it. This is the, I mean, can you believe it? I'm in the bottom of the pool. All right, Steve and Landa are here. Huge congratulations. Um, 
we are toasting to the both of you and to basically to this wonderful, extraordinary pool that you have cleaned up, not only because it needed to be cleaned, but to help, I don't know, because I swim in here, <laughs> to make my swims a little bit cleaner. Thank you. Um, okay, so take your pick. Lando, there's a cider for you. Thank you. And then Steve, I brought, yeah, true. I, yeah, I wanted to get, I brought the Italian beer for me because okay. yeah. I brought a couple just in case you wanted one because you know my love of Italy, yeah, 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 but I did yeah. get you some English ones. So there you go. Okay, so I'm gonna stick this here. That's okay, because this can be wet because it's waterproof. And I've got bottle opener. Okay, Linda, here we go. Service. Yeah, of course. Service. There we are. I didn't bring cups because I don't even use a cup when I drink beer. We don't need cups. Yeah, we don't need cups, right. Thank you. So we're gonna do a toast. I'm gonna do my Italian. Here we go. Okay, toasting to this pool and toasting to both of you. Cheers. 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 Amazing, oh my gosh. Bottoms up. So we're gonna to continue to enjoy our beers in the sun, in the bottom of the pool here at Mapperton. <laughs>
and know that it's clean. Those are my two minutes. Nice coming up on new steps that aren't cracked and broken. Now, I feel energized, alive, awake, and all of those wonderful feelings that cold water immersion therapy gives to you. But now, it's time for a hot bath.